A lot to uncover here. Monica Casey mm -hmm. live for us in Durham. Thanks, Monica. We'll be staying with that story, of course. More rain and storms are in the forecast throughout the afternoon, so you can expect pockets of heavy rain. Yeah, Elizabeth Gardner is in the WREL Severe Weather Center with the timeline for today's storms, Elizabeth. We well, take a look at the coverage, and we don't have a lot of thunderstorms or rain out here right now. We are looking at some rain up the I-85 corridor and just a few cells that are starting to pop up. As we go through the afternoon and we see a few breaks in the clouds, we'll end up seeing that sunshine energizing the atmosphere and helping for, uh, to see more of these uh, showers and thunderstorms develop. You can see some rain getting ready to move right up past Henderson, right up the I-85 corridor. We also have a little bit of patchy light rain around South Hill. That's starting to push off to the east just a bit. We take a look down here, coming out of Elm City toward Rocky Mount, just a little bit of rain showing up. We take a live look at North Hills, and there is a little bit of blue that's trying to break through these clouds. The more sunshine we see this afternoon, the more likely we are to have some scattered storms develop. Not all of these cells are going to produce lightning, but most of them will produce at least some brief heavy rain. Take a look at the coverage here at 2 o'clock. Not a lot of rain showing up. We take it to 4 o'clock, though, and we begin to see more showers and possible thunderstorms popping up. So the later we get in the day, the more daytime heating we see, the better chance that we'll have of some of these pockets of heavy rain. You can see here at 7 o'clock, that's moving through the Triangle area. And once we get past sunset, we should begin to see a lot of that tapering off. We're going to talk more about a drier weekend in just a few minutes, but let's take a look at the tropics. We still have our two systems that we're following. This is the brand new information from the Hurricane Center. Uh, uh, Brett is moving west at 21 miles per hour, still with 60 mile per hour winds, but it's still looking like it will dissipate over the Caribbean over the weekend. And then Cindy is moving uh, northwest at 16 with winds at 50 miles per hour. It may strengthen to 65 mile per hour winds in the next 24 hours, but it will move up here near the Bahamas where it will run into a part of the atmosphere that's not conducive for storms to develop. It will also end up running into a front that's going to move offshore early to mid next week, and that will keep that storm from making landfall in the United States. At least that's the way things look right now. We'll continue to keep our eye on it. All right, thanks, Elizabeth. And you can plan ahead for severe weather with the WRL Weather app. It allows you to watch radar in real time to see when storms are in your area. It is free to download wherever you find your apps.